interested for this Moulton Museum um, exhibit to, to look back on the ranch, how it used to look. I live in Aliso Viejo. I'm so familiar with the land that encompassed the Moulton Ranch. And I really was interested in just um, recording, not how it looks today, how we all know it, but how it looked and, and just giving some visual to the land that we live in and shop in and play in and how it how it's changed not just in the you know not over 100 years but even the last 30 years it's tremendously different and going out and painting on site and visualizing how it looked from photographs that i would have with me i'd look at my phone i would look at the scene and i would try to recreate the scene outdoors using the the actual light i was painting in and it was really interesting and I got so involved in it that every time I drive now through Laguna Hills or Laguna Niguel, I'm constantly looking around, envisioning how that, you know, Alicia Parkway, well, this used to be part of the lime bean fields below me and now it's a hill uh, with a boulevard going across and there's the 73 crossing. And I cannot drive now in this area without imagining in my mind what it used to look like. And through that, I've, I, my interest has grown with each painting to the point where I go out to paint one painting and find three more ideas for future paintings. Plein air painting to me means basically painting light, being outdoors, capturing light firsthand without photographs, <clears throat> without any indoor work. I like to start my painting and complete it completely outdoors. I don't come back in the studio and work on it because I, I trust the colors I'm mixing outdoors. I trust the colors, the values on the canvas. Um, and there's something about plein air painting where you're immersed in the outdoors, in nature, and all my senses are aware of that. It's the smells, the sounds, the feel, the heat, the wind, the bugs, you name it, that all is part of the experience in that painting, that particular painting. So it, it's all my senses combined into one. I use a limited palette, basically seven colors. I have my entire career as a plein air painter for several reasons. The, the colors I use all work together in harmony and it creates a very harmonious color palette on the canvas, regardless of the subject I'm painting. Also, when I'm outdoors painting, I don't need a whole palette of colors to pick and choose from when you're in a hurry. With seven colors, I can do it instinctively without almost even looking at my palette. I know where the blue is. I know where the burnt sienna is and the cad yellow, and I can mix those together. Um, those seven colors, I'm able to create pretty much every painting I have, whether it's the urban landscapes, seascapes, mountains, snow, you name it. Um, and it's worked for me. I'd be afraid to add any more colors. It would involve more thinking. Sometimes I'll tell students, don't think so much, just see it, mix it, put it on. I always tell people I paint like my hair is on fire because you have to work so quickly. And through illustration, it was always very quick. I think over the years trying to get deadlines done and painting outdoors, you don't have time. And I like to be able to just quickly mix without thinking. It's, it's like mixing a recipe. Got to go warmer, got to go cooler, darker. Just keep adding more of what you think you need, putting it on the canvas and moving on. It, it's, it's exhausting and it's exhilarating at the same time. Yeah, so what my, my day typically is, if I'm going to go out and plan air paint, I'm always checking the weather constantly. The, way, the day before, I'll look at the weather, see if there's gonna be any clouds. Clouds are my enemy <laughs> and uh, wind, but I definitely will just decide what I'm gonna wear by where I'm painting. If it's outdoors, if it's at the beach, it might be different than if I'm painting in the foothills. If I'm in the studio, another, another set. My studio is always set up for painting and I always have my painting, plan air painting gear sitting on the floor ready to go at a moment's notice. So 
Sometimes I'll be driving in to do a studio painting and I see the light outside and say, well, this is open my light. I got to get out there and paint. So I just cancel all my plans for the studio and load everything in the car. Hopefully not forget anything important like brushes and, uh, and just head out. And usually I don't know exactly where I'm going. So I rarely paint with other artists just because I would drive them crazy. And uh, when I see it, I know it. When I see the location I want to paint, then and I can see it as a painting, then I'll stop and paint it. Exhibition brings awareness to just how beautiful the land is that we live in. And, and like I said, we shop and we play and, and everything here in these communities. And I just wanted to bring awareness to what the land originally looked like. You know, there's such, um, such little open space left. It just seems like every time that there's any kind of open space it gets developed, especially in Orange County, as long as I've been here. I've been here 50 years and it's changed drastically and it's getting harder and harder to preserve some of those spaces. So it, it, if, it, if I can bring some awareness to what's happening to our county and, and just how some of this land looked even 50 years ago and how gorgeous and open it was. And if they could just appreciate that when they're driving through and maybe take a look at the hills and imagine themselves how it's changed and how beautiful it once was and still is. Mm -hmm.